What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, we're gonna learn how to create this color image thing going on here in Photoshop um, from this original image here. So this is where we start, this is where we end up. Now, right before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to stay up to date on the, all the videos. You can also check out the Twitter, Instagram, Discord channel, all down below. And if you like this song you're currently listening to, you can sign up for a 30-day free trial to Epidemic Sound, so you can also try out really awesome music for your videos too. Links down below. Let's get started. Okay, so I have a fresh picture opened up inside of Photoshop. Now you can download this photo right down below to follow along with this tutorial. It's completely free. Download it, let's try it out. Now, as always inside of Photoshop, I like to take the background layer um, right here. If you don't see layers, go to Window and Layers. Ooh, I turned it off. Window and Layers and you always drag the background to this little plus icon down here to make a copy. I never really edit the background because I wanna make sure it stays put. So if I mess up, I can retract or you know do some non-destructive work and keep the stuff. Now, what we need to do now is actually remove the background of this person. Um, now there's a couple of different things we're gonna do, a couple of techniques you can learn along the way to refine the hair and also just kind of chop out the body really fast. Um, what we're gonna do is actually go to the bottom and do create new fill or adjustment layer and then do solid color. Uh, let's choose the color to like something random, uh, like something that really shows through. I think I did light blue last time. And we're gonna move this layer down under background copy. And let's call it one for now, I'll just take it to one. Now. What you're gonna do is actually zoom in a little bit, uh, control plus or command plus on your keyboard, hold space bar, so you can actually move the image up. Let's zoom in a little more. And we're gonna focus on the hair to cut out first. What we're gonna do is go to your toolbar on the left. If you don't see your toolbar, just hit window and then click tools, turns on the toolbar, no problem. And then you're gonna hit this little eraser tool. Click and hold with your left click and hit background eraser tool. What this does is actually allows us to erase the background while not erasing her hair. It's kind of like magic, but it's pretty, it's pretty sweet. The problem with this picture we're using is her skin tone is really close to the background. So if we just did a general erase, it would erase her skin as well. As you can see, it's erasing her skin and the background. We don't want that to happen. So we're not going to go over her face. We're just going to go over the hair. Now with this option clicked right up here called sample once, um, I have my tolerance set to 64% and limits uh, to discontinuous. And my current brush size, it doesn't matter what yours is, just whatever you're comfortable with. What we're gonna do is actually erase over the hair. And as you can see, blue is showing, which in reality is invisible. So we go over here, get rid of this. We're just doing this over the hair portions. We don't really care too much about anything else. We're gonna erase the background the normal way later. Oops, see, we got a little bit of skin right here, so C Command Z or Control Z to back up. And I'm gonna redo this section real quick. Now, I don't wanna go too far into her hair because it's gonna actually erase a lot of the stuff, and I don't wanna erase a lot of her hair. This is not, it's a pretty awesome method to like magically erase stuff in the background, especially for hair, but it's not you know foolproof. It is gonna make a few errors here and there that you're gonna have to clean up in post. As you can see, we've deleted most of the background around her hair. Now, it's not perfect by any means, as in if I uh, if I get rid of the blue layer, you can see that it's, you can kind of see through the edges of her hair, but for the final effect in this video, this shouldn't matter too much. Now, what we wanna do is actually erase the rest of this background. So let's zoom out. From here, we can uh, click on layer one, and then just click around in the orange area, and it should start selecting the orange color. Now, we are gonna have to clean it up a little bit, um, and you know, with any uh, picture that you're removing the background from, and nothing's ever gonna be perfect. You're gonna have to fix some things. Um, so you see her shoulder got selected. We don't want that to happen. This right here should be okay. We can actually zoom in from here and uh, manually clean some of this up. And from here, I can just grab the uh, magnetic lasso tool. I actually just kind of go around the edge and just clean stuff up. Now we need to fix this hand down here that we selected before. You can see that the auto selection thing kind of blended in with her skin tone and the background. We need to fix this really quick so we can go to our subtraction button right here using our normal lasso tool and actually go down the arm and actually just kind of subtract out the selection 
as we go. Her wrist isn't perfect, but it's not gonna be noticeable in the final piece, right around her fingers. And we'll grab this, that's fixed. Let's go to the top. I remember her shoulder being selected. We need to subtract this out of the selection. And you can be as detailed here as you want. Um, the final effect does hide a bunch of this, um, so that's not a huge deal. Let's move around, check everything. That's selected, that's selected, that's selected. Everything looks pretty good. So in theory, if we hit delete on our keyboard, it should delete pretty much 99% of the orange. And there it is. Uh, we've cleaned up a ton of this. Let's hit select and then deselect. So after we hit delete, it actually looks pretty good. Um, there is some stuff we need to, there is some stuff we need to like manually clean up with the eraser tool, but overall I think it looks great. So let's grab the eraser tool right here. Uh, click layer one, actually change the blue layer to white because that will be our final background color. So we can actually go in and clean up manually what we need, what we can see and need to, and what we need to get rid of. So if on my eraser tool, make sure it's set to soft. Click layer one. Let's scale up this and uh, we will start erasing these edges. I want to keep a good bit of it. I mean, there's some hairs that I like and some that I don't mind losing. Definitely these weird orange edges need to go. And I will show you how to fix mistakes if you've deleted media that you need to get back. Scale it down a lot and we'll manually go in and erase this. Like I said, that's, there's never a foolproof way to fix a background when you're erasing it. I mean, sure, if the color is like solid, solid, perfect green and you can actually go in and manually delete stuff, um, that's great. It's a lot faster, but you know, there's magic on YouTube. They're like, oh, this whole background gets immediately erased. But I, I will tell you, there's nothing is ever absolutely perfect. You're going to have to work for it every now and then. And if you've got a little bit of time on your hands, this kind of stuff isn't so bad. We just want to fix this, like her little shoulder piece right here. And you're going to get really used to zooming in and zooming out and fixing things, making sure your edges are perfect. Just like that, a little bit of a rounded edge makes her wrist look a little better. Um, and then we can bring the earring back from the original image. So what we're going to do is actually copy the background one more time, turn this background layer on, put it on top. And as you can see, we can jump in real quick, uh, move over, grab our little uh, marquee, pick whip tool and actually just manually go across this earring real quick right click uh, layer via copy uh, put background copy down at the bottom turn it off take layer one layer one uh, right click and then uh, merge layers which actually puts that earring back in there and if you want you can actually go back to your eraser tool and clean up the edges with a soft eraser And one more thing that we saw at the bottom, her wrist does look a little funny. We can either fix this, bring it back, or get rid of it. So let's turn on the background copy one more time. Actually grab our layer, little pick whip tool, you know, to copy and make a new uh, selection. Grab that, right click, layer via copy. Turn this off, put layer one on top. Uh, copy these both, right click, and then uh, merge layers, which fixes her arm. Now she has like a perfectly smooth arm like before. Now what we want to do is turn this into the thing we saw before, which is the original looks like this. We want to turn, we want to create this. And this last step is actually a lot of fun. So what we're going to do is actually duplicate this layer. So drag layer two down to the little plus icon right here. Um, hit command T or control T on your keyboard. And then you can grab the edges here and rotate it around. Hold shift to rotate it perfectly. And then hit uh, check to say, yes, I am done. Now let's move it over a little bit just to get it out of the way. Take layer two, put it on top. So now what you want to do is actually double click layer two, which is the top layer, which should open up the layer style options. It should be default set to blending options. If it's not, you can select it. And what you want to do is go to advanced blending and then turn the channels off. So let's turn red off and let's turn blue off, which leaves green, which is purple in this case. And then click OK. Then grab layer two, double click this. Go back two channels, so let's turn blue and let's turn green off, which leaves the red channel. And now it looks like this, kind of similar to, to what we saw before. Now let's move the layers around. Let's move this down to here. Let's move layer two copy up here, kind of like the same composition. This is all up to you at this point. You can highlight both of these and move them over. Looks pretty good. 
And then uh, that looks pretty nice. Let's move color fill up right here and highlight all of these and then right click and then new convert to smart object. Then we're gonna click layer two, go to filter and then uh, camera raw filter, which opens up this new dialog box. Camera raw filter is one of my favorite things. We're gonna click effects over here and we're gonna increase the grain. I love the grainy look inside of photos. It looks just realistic. I really enjoy that. Um, then we go back to basic and from here you can actually change a few options. We can pump up the clarity a little bit. We can pump up the saturation a little bit. You can do a lot of things here, bring the contrast up. And this is how you kind of affect the entire photo tone, the entire photo's tone and overall feel. And then click OK. And from here, as you can see, we have the finished piece. It looks similar to the one we made before. Um, the composition's a little different, but what's great about uh, this smart object, we can just double click this thing right here and we can actually move the composition around up a little bit. I mean, it doesn't matter too much to fix the composition. Hit file, save, saves the PSB file, and this reflects back into our original. And now they look a little more similar. It's not perfectly aligned, but you can always fix this and tweak it. And that's it. That is how you create this dual color image photo inside of Photoshop. As always guys, I'm Max. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next Photoshop video.